this video we're going to talk about aspect ratios and we're going to talk about those in terms of car tires. This picture has nothing to do with that, it's just it was at a Starbucks, I need my caffeine, it's early. Anyway, moving on. So anytime you look at a car tire, you find these markings. So these right here. Well, okay, not all of those. These right here. So those aren't just like, it's not just like a, a code. It's not like the equivalent of a barcode. This actually tells you stuff about the tire. And included in that is the aspect ratio. So we're going to talk about that. Okay. So this right here, it's a little bit weird. That's an ugly arrow. Okay. This right here is actually the width of the tire, but it's the width in millimeters. So like here's my, uh, my lovely design of a tire. The width is actually this part here, like how wide this rubber strip is. That's our width. Okay, so now, let me go back to the other one. This next one, this 40 in this case, right here, that's our aspect ratio, and we're going to go over that in a minute. That's our aspect ratio. Hopefully you can see that. It's a little bit light. And then we have this R right here. That just stands for radial means it's like you know extending out from the center like a circle this is just radial we don't really um, we don't really care about that as far as calculations go it just tells you about the tire and the final thing that we're interested in is this 19 so the 19 is the diameter of the rim so it's not the diameter of the entire wheel wheel it's just that's how big the inside part of the rubber needs to be so like it's right here I'm going to call it D with a little R for diameter of the rim. Okay, so these two we both get from that number. So I'm going to write this number over. So we have this, and, and it's, it's kind of, it's, it's tricky, right? You're, the width, we looked over here, the width that they gave is in millimeters. The diameter that they give us in the rims, that's in inches. So they're kind of all over the place with the units on these, so you got to pay attention. But so... This is our width, so our width in this case is 245 millimeters. Our, the diameter of the rims in this case, so D rim, is 19 inches. And then we have this 40. This is our aspect ratio. Our aspect ratio is the ratio of the height to the width, and it's a percent. So this is aspect ratio, and it's in percent, so this is 40%. So in this case, I'm going to call it AR, not augmented reality, but aspect ratio. In this case, it's 40%. Well, I could put that as a decimal. That's the same thing as 40 over 100, right? Percent means per 100. So I'm being 100 in French. Okay, the aspect ratio is, this is the comparison of the height to the width. And by height, we mean the height of the actual rubber part of the tire, so this. This is the height. So your aspect ratio is height over width at times 100, right? Because we're writing it in, in, in the percent value. So if you're just given this number, this 245 slash 40 R19, we can use that to determine everything else, and we, we want to do that for several reasons. Number one, we got to make sure it fits in your car's tire well, right, in the wheel well, because if, if it, it could fit on your rim, but if this H is too high, it's going to rub the part of your car. Also, if you change, like each car has its designated size of tire that it's supposed to have, and if you put something on there that's bigger or smaller, what happens is it messes up your speedometer, so you think you're only going 50 miles an hour, really you're going 75. So we kind of care about those. So let's look at how to find the height from this number that we have. The first thing I usually do is I set up a table because then I have everything all where I need it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and create my little table. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in the things that I know. Okay, so I know my aspect ratio from this, it's 40. I'm going to put percent right there. Okay, so I know that that's 40%. Um, I know my width because it's given. That's 245, but that's millimeters. And I know the diameter of the rim is 19 inches. 
Now, width in inches and height in inches, I don't know. So I gotta do that. So the first thing I wanna do is I want everything in the same units because the whole millimeter inches thing is driving me crazy. So I want to find this. So the way I do that is I'm going to convert. So I, I know that one inch is 25.4 millimeters. Or, you know, Google knows that one inch is 25.4 millimeters, so you can always just check that out. So if I have 245 millimeters and I want inches, I can do the little conversion thing that we've been doing. So I, I, know I want inches, so I put inches on the top. It's 25.4 millimeters on the bottom. Probably should have written smaller. Let me move this over real quick. I have a tendency to do that. Okay. So then if I, if I get my calculator out and I divide, so I go 250, 245 divided by 25.4, I get 9.645669, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to put 9.65 inches. Let me just round that to two decimals. So 9.65 inches. So that's what I'm going to put here. So I'm going to put that in yellow to show that I calculated it. 9.65. The ones in white I had already. The ones in the different colors are the ones that I calculated. From there, I need my height. The height is going to involve a little bit more calculation because we don't know that, right? But what we do know is we know the aspect ratio. And we know that the aspect ratio, we said a while ago, was our height to our width times 100. So I can move that around to find my height, right? So if I multiply both sides by W, I have W times AR equals height times 100. So now I just have to divide both sides by 100. So I get height equals, I'm going to write it up here just to save space. I'm going to get W over 100 times my aspect ratio. And that I can do because I know those. So I know my width, and I'm going to use inches because I want my height in inches. So that's 9.65. times, my aspect ratio is 40, and then, yeah, and then I'm going to divide that by 100, so let's try that. So in this case, my height is only 3.86 inches, which makes sense because it was fairly low profile when I was looking at it. Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to put 3.86 over here. Okay, so now we've got the basic measurements. The next thing we want to know, and, and if you kind of look at that, this is um, whatever your aspect ratio is, your height is really going to be, like in this case it's 40%, it's 40% of your width, right? So you're just taking 0.4 and times, times your width and that gives you your height. Okay. The next thing that we kind of want to know just for application and for because we're going to actually use it is we want the total diameter of the tire. So I'm going to put diameter like this. If I go back here, I'll show you on the drawing. Your diameter is this thing. Like this whole thing would be your diameter. And that's what we really want because that's what's going to help us calculate um, differences in speed and that kind of thing. So for the diameter, this is really, let me draw another one of those. So your, your total diameter from here to here, this is a combination of things. So it's going to be, you have to take into consideration this height up here and this height up here, right? Because we've got this part of the tire down here and we've also got this part of the tire here. And then you've also got the diameter of the rim. So this part. So your actual diameter is a combination of all those things. So it's the diameter of the rim plus the height on top and the height on bottom. So I can combine those, and I could just say well, there are two of those. So my diameter is my rim diameter plus two times the height. 
So I can go now, now that I know the height, I can go back here and I can fill that in. I could go, okay, well, my overall diameter of my entire wheel is going to be 19 plus 2 times 3.86. And this is, uh, oops, there you go. It's all going to be in inches. So if I do that, 3.86 times 2 plus 19. The overall diameter of my wheel then is 26.72 inches. So I would put that here, 26.72. I'm gonna put my inches right here. So those are all of the dimensions of the tire just from this listing on the tire itself. So I'm gonna post another video of showing another one just walking through just in case you didn't get it.